Well, hello everybody and welcome to Rainbow Extraction. I am QB75 and I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe. I am going to play for a little while just to put up some content while I am away visiting my family for you guys to watch when I am not actually streaming. So let's just jump right into this and before we do everyone click that like button. If you are not subscribed yet then please consider doing so. It not only helps me but it helps YouTube know that that there are more people interested in my content and they will share it and promote it to a larger audience with all that being said guys let's get it this You're in my life. Elisa. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Hey, my fault. I just wanted to see how R&D is doing. Not bad. Good, actually. Check this out. I couldn't figure out why it kept overheating. Then an operator came back with data on how El Parasito dissipates high thermal loads and boom, the solution. Yes, the parasite is horrible, but it's also a scientific gold mine. Everything we learn makes our tech better. Elena, keep making great stuff like this, and I promise to keep out of your life. All react departments enact incursion protocols for the safety of our personnel. Con Concentrated areas of parasite activity are called hot zones. React has contained the area within three subzones separated by airlocks. Operators are deployed to the safest area to complete objectives and gather intel. Parasite activity increases after each airlock, in line with React's directive to limit threat propagation. Operators can exfil at any time at the available extraction point to report new intel to R&D. However, the further you go on an incursion, the better the intel, the parasite ecosystem is sensitive to intrusions. At a certain threshold, it unleashes a massive Archean attack to eliminate the threat. The safety protocol is in effect when it's too risky to send for an extraction platform. Exfil before it's too late. Operators who fail to exfil or are left behind for any reason are considered MIA. A stasis device is activated on MIAs to protect them from the parasite. The next squad deployed to the same hot zone can attempt a rescue. React will do what it takes to bring our people home. Okay. Sounds easy enough. Liberty Island. Publishing can Lucas Gaming LTU subscribe. Yeah, that's just a leak. Let's take a look at our enemy. Okay, so Archeans are your main target. They've diversified in type with different behaviors and skills um most arcanians will i don't know even know if i'm pronouncing that right but most arch archians will attack the moment they see or hear you alerted archians can be brutally aggressive and unrelenting once they notice you arcanians flinch before they howl alert nearby units and nests kill them before they howl or consider Stealth approach to remain on the target. target to take down with your React blade. A sample will be collected at the same time. Use your React drone to locate your target. Press to use your React drone and scout the area. Drone activated. What happened? Head over there. Wanted to jump. There we go. Trying to use my back paddles on the Xbox Elite 2 controller. I'm trying to figure out which ones are mapped where. Alright, so where am I going? That way. Oh, that's me. It's extraction. Going this way? Can't go through there. Where'd it go? Nowhere for me to go. 
that was. We have another drone. Last directive. Converge on location. Cancel that last order. Close to the target. Um, when your target is unalerted, you can perform a takedown. It's the best way to kill an arc and, and remain undetected. You can crouch, press B to sneak up to your target and exploit their blind spot. Once in range, perform a takedown press um, with your react blade. If your target is alerted, you can use a react gear like a smoke grenade to incapacitate it allowing you to take down um press b to crouch i'm already uh in a target then press rs to target Right there, always seen me. Health during excursion loss health cannot be restored only. Okay, get health boost with med kits or some react tech. The effect temporary and over time. At extraction, operators lose any temporary health boost they acquired during incursion. So completed objectives is the best way to earn XP biopsy completed. Um progression in your excursion. Completed objectives. There is one objective per subzone, three subzones per excursion. Only you and your squad can decide if the objectives should be completed or not. Um move to airlock. Transition through an airlock to access the next subzone. When the door closes behind you, there is no going back. Ability, ability already at full capacity. But this just takes me outside. Probably should open the doors so I can move around freely. Oh boy. Four types of supplies can be found during excursions. Ammunition, med kits, ability recharges, and react tech.
booty already at full capacity. Back to the sure. Quest airlock transition. Closes the door. Sneak and plant the trackers. Nests are usually dominant, dormant. When Archeans become alerted, they will wake up nearby nests. Waken nests will continue to produce combat-ready Archeans until the nests are destroyed. Awaken nests generate sprawl, which can reduce your mobility. On occasion, we need you to plan auto trackers on nests, so right. we monitor them. Hey, so dormant. Mirror. She here. Press to open dashboard. This will show you status of your fired XP. Version team operator. All right. Training mode operators in this will do not progress. Analyze. Team. Press RB to equip the launcher. Shoot to fire and deploy the bullets. Any surface. I'm um, press again to detonate all. Tracker. Red sense on operator's hand will turn red when alerting Akin and of sight. Hold to plant. Moving through sprawl will slow you down, but Archeans are not slowed down in sprawl. It makes them more lethal. Awaken nests generate spores unless you need to track them. Destroy nests before they awaken to reduce sprawl production. Dying Archeans generate sprawl, minimizing sprawl production. Obliterating Archeans via takedowns, explosives, or by aiming at their weak point. Go to plant. Auto tracker activated. Reloading. Nice. Still so, this is something. You lost an auto tracker. You'll have to plant another one on a dormant nest. You gotta just gotta plant them. Like All right. Activated. Okay. Okay, they just die. This is how you can help react, collect data on the parasite ecosystem. Um, every subzone has an extraction point to end the excursion and secure your latest XP. Head to the extraction and call for an extraction platform. Um, subsequent subzones entail harder challenges. The greater the risk, the bigger the reward. Extract now or go further. This crucial decision affects the outcome of every incursion. You can head to extraction or continue to the next subzone. The choice is up to you. Awesome. 
guess you can shoot. <clears throat> you can shoot away that stuff. What makes you be able to walk walk around easier? Yes, that's how that works. Damn. I'm looking at this model and trying to see a pattern in the parasite's attack. It's either random or beyond my understanding. Alright, let's see if we can make it back. Nice. React. Do that in a real incursion and we'll contain the Arcane like nobody's business. <laughs> All right. Successful extraction. Successful. You may have left. Return to menu. Operate it in this. Okay. Right. Buddy Pass is live. With the Buddy Pass, you can send tokens to friends who have the trial version of the game to let them experience the full game in 14 days. Note that the trial players have to be in a squad with you to send the token for the buddy pass to be activated. So, I guess, uh, yeah. Alright guys, we're gonna end this one right here. This was just a short video, just to have some content up for when I am not streaming. Because I am going to be visiting my son when you guys are actually watching this. I will be back on Thursday afternoon for my normal stream time. Somewhere around 3, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, so thank you everybody. You know for watching the video i greatly appreciate it to anybody who is new to the channel please click that like button consider subscribing if you have not already it would be greatly appreciated so make sure you guys hit the notification bell so you'll always be notified whenever i go live or upload a video in the future with all that being said guys have a wonderful day and i will see you all in the next one keep you 75 peace